Hi, my name is Puri. I have around 20 years of experience of building products, integrations across devices and applications. And uh, this is my second startup. I've been a CTO of two other companies, and I was in a max salary for two years and covered uh, There's a context for that, I'll explain. Who's this person? How many of you remember this guy? David Rockefeller. What he's known for is this. Is <laughs> okay? This is this one of the experts from his robotics. Okay, this is about as you know when he I mean when you met him first, some notes, I mean where he lived, when he died, his wife, everything. This is about Nelson Mandela. I mean, check this. Started with Mr. and then Honorable and this excellency. And we keep, keep track of everything, of every person that he met. This is another, uh, this is another one from John F. Kennedy, Donald Trump, Gerard uh, Ford. That's when uh, printers came in picture and then finally databases. The last one was actually see more for database in the database. So we all wish every person that we meet, we should have something like this, right? I like. When did I meet this? Most of the times when you meet this person for the second time, you'll always have this doubt. When did I meet this person? What did I talk about this person? And like, what should I talk to him? That's another question, right? So, but today we live in a subscription economy and almost every application that we use is built by an individual uh, vendor, which makes our data kind of scattered all across these applications. I, we use notes, we never know. Somebody uses Google notes. And even mails, we have Gmail, I mean, your office email, your, your personal email, then your uh, enterprise email, what you call video account. And what we do is we kind of keep searching for email, searching for data, open email, search for that person, open CRM, search for that person, documents, hundreds of things like that. And by the end of the meeting or a call, your browser will look like this. So many tabs open. And the unfortunate thing is, you have to repeat the same thing for the next meeting that you have. Okay, the next logical thing we always think is why not integrate these applications and make it make search less. But I've been in the past 20 years I've been part of uh, integrations both on supply side and demand side, and I paid 250 dollars an hour for a Salesforce guy to integrate a simple module into Salesforce. Okay, but still, believe me, integrations are tough, customizations are much more tough, and even with all of this data. You can't make the person to actually put a log into an CR meeting. You got a call, put the date free. Sorry, I don't have time. There are a lot of things that, because there's no automation, you go ahead and have a lot of empty fields in your CR, right? And that also adds to a lot of headache. So what we are building is a, a single pane of glass showing all your customer interactions. Okay? Assume you are getting a call. Most of the times, we just leave the voicemail. I don't know this number, let's give it to voicemail, right? What if this is the customer or a prospect that you've been chasing for the past couple of months? And he, when he calls, there's an intent to buy it, and you lost an opportunity. Not with what else. You'll be saying, hey, Charles is calling. In two seconds, you'll get to know who this person is from your CRM, from your mail, whichever system you're using, and you'll be able to say, hello, Charles. There might be 10 Charles that you interacted with, you don't know which Charles it is, but you'll be able to say, hello, Charles, how are you doing? And by the time you exchange your pleasantry, our application gives you a one-page summary of everything that you need to know about this person that you have on your accounts. Your own personal notes, your LinkedIn, his LinkedIn profile, websites, his recent emails that you exchanged with that person, attachments extracted from them, data from CRM, they call the opportunities you're tracking, orders placed, cases reached, whatever it is. All in a couple of seconds. There's always this nagging feeling that when you're meeting the other person, I don't have all the information, right? I don't have everything about this person. This is what you can always use to make sure you don't have that feeling at all. And the biggest thing, Salesforce India director who invested in us, his only one reason was 70% of the call logs and meetings are never logged into CRM. Okay? What we do? After every call, we say, hey, we are a meeting for 10 minutes, 28 seconds. What did you discuss? We log this directly into CRM. Even if it doesn't put a note, it's still there's an entry that says you had a meeting. And 
we just ask you, what did you discuss? You can either leave a voice note or a text note, and that gets into your CR, right? This worked very well in India and Chile. When we came here in Skydeck in July, we tried selling this feature quite a lot to a lot of people, around 200 of them. Most of them loved the feature of getting all the data, but not the call feature. They said, we always leave to voicemail. It's not so important to me. And some, we already onboarded uh, Colliers International, which is one of the real estate companies here. They love the call feature. But then a lot of people said, can it be better? That's when we took, we did a pivot during this cohort. And basically what we are what we are helping is you're not, you're not searching anymore, you're not opening multiple windows, you're not integrating and automatically calls along. Same thing will appear when five minutes before the meeting. By the time you get up from your desk and walk into a meeting room, you should be knowing everything about this person. Click on it shows you a one-page summary. With this, you are totally prepared. One, you are doing meetings, you want to send an email, click on a share button, his email is already there, a file is already there, automatically a mail will be composed in two seconds. Hit on send, that's what you need to do. And same thing, meetings, most of the times are logged in your calendar, in your email, but never in CRM. Most of the times, if you are scheduling it from CRM, obviously there will be, but in mail, it won't be. We log that also to CRM. With this, it kind of works across board. Currently, it works in iOS and Android, and you have a, a web application which goes across board. But uh, and also, we are getting into wearables. You'll be able to see last email, last notes, and your personal notes all in a couple of seconds, and you're ready for a meeting. We have integrated with so many applications iOS and uh, all the major email services, Office 365, G Suite, Zoho, and then Storage, OneDrive, Dropbox. Almost all the biggest CRMs out there, Salesforce, Dynamics, CRM, Spot, Pipe Drive, and Support, and many others. The plan is to integrate many more. When I was talking to Bill, he said, okay, there should be something, what you guys are doing? So what is, what is that secret sauce which actually makes these integrations stick? And how are you doing it without much of extra work? The secret sauce is, we can integrate any other any software that you are using, but the whole thing we can integrate in a couple of days. Usually, the least we are done is like three days, and the maximum we are done is like five days. Okay, I'm not exaggerating. We had a customer, I mean, like we had like a lot of customers who asked us, can you integrate pipe drive when we went to Chile? We were in Chile before. Uh, in one week, we got like seven requests. I said, what is this uh, pipe drive? We are, we are doing a lot of other campaigns during the same time. So one weekend, we saw Pipedrive is one of the best CRMs, which was functional, we functionally, and we started integrating. A week later, we had a paying customer. And customizations. Customizations are one thing which will be charged like crazy when you are actually getting it, getting it done by someone else, right? Simple one additional field, they'll say, okay, one week. I've been there, and I know the pain, so in our case, what we do is in a couple of hours. So, for example, if you're using Salesforce, you'll always have this additional uh, fields that you add, right? But we don't know, from, as a, from platform side, we don't know. But you just tell us which field you want, we can get it done. This screen that you're seeing is done specifically for an insurance company in uh, Chile called HDI Securos. I mean, instead of whatever you want to see here, you can actually customize the look and feel of it. These are the people that you have to call because their insurance is expired. Believe me, that's the data that you have. It's a list. Can I show it in this way? Why not? Instead of a people that you have to call, this is a list that you'll see. I, we, can act, we are actually integrating for one customer where all the Salesforce leads will come in one list. And you just have to call one by one. As soon as you call, it's done. But all of this is possible in a couple of hours because it's, the data is already integrated. Only thing is, you just have to tell us what data you need. This comes to the architecture that we have. Uh, I know most of the talks that I've attended here are on AWS and very few on Google, but we are completely on Azure. So <laughs> uh, we use SQL Azure uh, heavily. Almost all of our databases, we have seven of them. All of them are on SQL Azure. Uh, we use PaaS heavily. I, I remember a day when I used to, I mean, if I had a request for a, a server, I had to wait for seven days just to get an approval that you need one. Then there's a one week of, one or two weeks of procurement. And then if I forget one software, 
Then I had to wait for another one month or something or so to get a software license. Now, obviously, the cloud has enabled us in a very amazing way, and we really don't have to really spend that much of time and effort. Half, an, half, a, half a minute is what it takes to deploy to Azure. Right click, deploy, and then you have everything ready. Now, we are built against VMs also. We completely go by pass. Uh, there's an amazing service called Azure App Service, which is equal to uh, in Google, in uh, AWS, it is Beanstalk. And in Google, what? App Engine. Right? It's simple. You forget about the deployment, whether it scales, it automatically takes care of it. If there are less number of requests, it reduces the instances, things like that. And for us, in App Engine, uh, Azure App, App Service is one of the best things that we have done, implemented. All our APIs are completely hosted on uh, Azure API service. And we have a host of API integrations that we have done, right? The, 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 all the integrations that we have done, we just store the metadata. We just talked about privacy and uh, data, what do you call, data security. We start, that was our first model. None of <laughs> data will ever get into someone else's hand. Your data is your data. For example, we also recommend a lot of people to use their personal email and their EDU emails on their corporate emails together. The reason is, the journey of how you get your customer starts with your personal connections. And then your, uh, maybe in your alma mater or your college. Right? Very, few, very rarely, you go and meet people in events and then add them as a customer. So when you see a person's history, how I connected with this guy, you should be able to see your first email in your personal email, then your CDU account or your corporate account. So the history is what we maintain. So if I'm here, if I, I mean, first question I get is, will you see my email? Obviously, application sees my email. Obviously, I don't have time to see all the emails. Will you store my email? Obviously, no. Right? All of this on the fly. I mean, our database is like hardly 200 MB. Okay? And we have so many integrations. Obviously, we will not store every email, every CRM data. How we do that? This integration API metadata layer that we have is the one which kind of abstracts almost every API that we use. Get my last emails with this uh, with this person, and uh, between this data right, date range. That's what the API metadata. This you know, this part of the application just goes and pulls it, and we are now building a using core ML and uh, ML kit to kind of read the, read the data on the fly, on the device, not on our servers, on the device, to kind of summarize the data that you have. Uh, we are actually building an additional layer. That's the second part that we are actually starting, we're starting working on. That is purely about how, how you consume news, how you make sense of the recent news that is about the company, things like that. That, we are building a separate engine, which kind of feeds into all your additional information. For example, I'll give you a simple example. Google acquired Fitbit. Now, this information is pursued in multiple ways by multiple journalists, right? When, when we say Google acquired Fitbit, there's one guy who says, hey, Android is not going anywhere. Google, uh, Fitbit is doing really good. So actually, Fitbit should be a best acquisition Google so we ever had. It's a very optimistic note, right? Uh, the other, other guy, in the same day, you will see other guy saying, Google acquires all these companies and just leaves to drink out, right? That's a different perspective. Now, when you use the first note for a person, and when you use the second note for the second person, depends on whom you're talking to, right? If you're talking to a wearable company, obviously you don't want to give up bad news, you want to give up good news. So what, what are the facts that you need to support that one news item is what we are surfacing. So that is part of the second part of the, the, the building. The goal is, again, I'll just quickly show you a demo of how our application works, and we'll be concluding this. So, five minutes before the application, we say, hey, meeting, we say, hey, let's meet, uh, let's figure out, who, let's prepare for this meeting. Click on the persons that you're meeting. It gives you that one page summary. 
it gives you all the previous meetings that I mean, on upcoming meetings, all the CRM activities that you have, your own personal notes, your own research, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, all of that, all your recent emails with that person, attachments, data from CRM. I was saying share the button, all that file is automatically created with the email, with uh, notes and everything. A data from CRM, like all the opportunities you are tracking, orders place, tickets from your Zendesk, fresh desk, whatever it is, all in a couple of seconds. So with this, by the time you walk into a meeting room, you will be kind of prepared. So for all Berkeley, for all Berkeley.edu uh, account holders, you can download this application, try it out, we'll give it one year free access. Uh, link is one link dot two slash what else. Search for it on uh, your browser, on mobile phone. You can try it and uh, just let me know. I'll enable one year access for you guys here fast.